Welcome to the Center for Career Development's virtual presentation, Resume Writing in the American Cultural Context. This virtual presentation is designed to provide an overview of the resources offered by the Center for Career Development and an introduction to resume writing and what you will need to do after watching this video. The Center for Career Development, also known as the CCD, is located in Wilbur Cross, room 202. We offer many resources to help students with things related to careers and developing professional skills for employment and other opportunities such as internships, including presentations and programs, student coaching and counseling, and experiential learning. We offer events on campus for all students, including career fairs and presentations. A career fair is an event in which employers and schools give out information to potential candidates. Students use this event to make a good first impression and to have contact with potential future employers. Our presentations cover many topics, including interviewing, resumes, and finding an internship or co-op. To find out more about these events, check out our website at career.ucon.edu. Student coaching and counseling appointments are for students to meet with a career counselor for advice on things such as choosing a major or relating their major to a career. We have same day walk-in and scheduled appointments. Walk-in appointments are where a student can come to our office without an appointment and sign up to see a career counselor that day. Skype appointments are also available. The CCD provides resume critiques, cover letter critiques, practice interviews, and help with internship and job searching. Lastly, we provide students support for experiential learning opportunities, such as internships and internship courses, co-ops, externships, research or field work, or job shadowing. The CCD also has online resources for students to use. Husky Career Link is our online job board just for UConn students and alumni. This is where employers post jobs, internships, or co-ops seeking UConn students. Husky Career Link is available at huskycareerlink.uconn.edu. Another online resource is Going Global. Going Global provides country-specific career and employment information. Before we get to the basics of a resume, it is important to note that international students need to develop a U.S.-style resume to work in the U.S., just as U.S. students need to adapt their resume to work internationally. Developing a resume in the American cultural context will help you get experiences and opportunities here in the U.S. So, what is a resume? A U.S.-style resume is concise in that it gives a lot of information in a few words. It is brief, but also comprehensive. It is also attractive, where the information is pleasing to read and look at. It is also a marketing document that summarizes job skills, accomplishments such as awards, honors, or scholarships, and is a summary of your education. It is used to apply for employment opportunities, service positions, internships or co-ops, graduate school, and scholarships. The goal of any resume is to get an interview. You may have heard the term CV before, which is commonly used internationally and can mean the same thing as a resume. However, in the United States, a CV is only for academic positions that include research and publications. You may have applied to UConn with various documents and forms. These probably contain some work experience, extracurricular activities, honors, awards, and your education. A U.S. style resume takes all of these components and puts them into one easy to read document like the one you see here. There are some guidelines on what to include and what not to include. Other countries may have different expectations on what should be included, but on your U.S. style resume, include the following information. Your U.S. contact information, education, relevant experiences or accomplishments, such as independent projects, student leadership, 
volunteering, research, and skills, and your Skype username. But do not include your age, gender, marital status, race or ethnicity, home country, immigration status, religion, height or weight, a photograph, English as a language skill, international permanent address, TOEFL or SAT scores, or high school or prep school rank. In terms of formatting your document, keep the length to one page. Choose a common font such as Arial or Times New Roman and use a font size that is consistent, such as 10.5 or 12. All text should be the color black. Around the document, margin should be between a half inch up to one inch. Students should not use templates from computer programs. Templates are a sample document that already have details in place, which can be edited. Resumes do not have any abbreviations on them except for states. That means when you're referring to UConn, you will need to type out University of Connecticut. Lastly, no personal pronouns. Resumes do not contain I, me, my, or their. The next steps for this assignment are for you to begin to type your own resume using the information contained in this presentation and the sample American style resume provided. Be sure to add all information from your background, including previous employment, activities, sports teams, volunteer positions, and your previous schools, including UConn. You will also need to print your resume and bring it to class on the day of the presentation. The in-class presentation will be given by a CCD representative and provide more information about resumes.